Well, what a triumph there, Nick, negotiating the badgers, foxes and mollusks of science. Daphne not negotiating the eagles, uh, confirming his place in the final round. That means, as it stands, the serial quizzes are all there. The eggheads have lost one brain, and we've got three more heads to heads to come. And uh, we move on to our next one. This is food and drink. And, uh, plenty of you should like this one. Food and drink. Well, I'll tell you more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll have a go at um, food and drink. All right, Mark. And uh, choose an egghead. Remember, it can't be Daphne. Any of the other four. Food and drink. Okay. I think I'd like to play against Dave. You may. All right. Let's have Mark and Dave. Heading for the question room, please. So, Mark, are you playing the food and drink round on the basis of your MasterChef appearance? Well, foolishly, probably, yes. <laughs> but you must have uh, gone on that show with a bit of a love for it. Yeah, food's always been a passion. Um, and it wasn't until I, gave, I was given the opportunity to do MasterChef. You don't think you'll get past the first round. And then the passion for, for food and, and the whole competition takes hold of you and it, it takes over your life. Yeah. The other thing I want to mention uh, about your auspicious career is of course it's gonna make chris very jealous here is the appearance what was it the just the two of us yeah did a bit of singing on just the two of us but who was it with this is what makes chris <coughs> ah, natasha hamilton the tommy kitten i'm not interested in the personnel of radioactive moggy thank you very much <laughs> radioactive moggy very good right okay let's play the round food and drink and you get to choose mark first or second uh, i think i'll go second please <laughs> Dave in to start then. Dave, Bollinger and Deutz are names associated with the production of which beverage? Tea, lager or champagne? Well, it's not tea. Uh, lager tends to be my favourite tipple. But uh, Mrs. Uh, Dave likes champagne, so I'll get used to uh, forking out for that. <laughs> OK. Uh, champagne is the right answer. So start there for Dave. Mark. The brandy Kish is traditionally made by double distilling the fermented juice of what type of cherry? Is it Morello, Manchego or Muscadet? I don't think it's Manchego. <clears throat> and I'm torn between Muscadet and Morello. Ooh, I'm going to plumb, I think, for Muscadet. Okay, Muscadet, it is not, no, not a type of cherry. I think there's only one type of cherry there, isn't there, Records? Which is Morello. All oh, right. Well, was it? Uh, I bet you would have got the Bollinger question. Yeah, right? I would have. Okay. Been. Well, you're on the second set, Dave. You're going first. Here's your second question. The herb Cherville has a delicate flavour of what? Onion, aniseed, or lemon? Well, I'm not sure about this. Um, further, but it's something I should know. Uh, I'm going to plump for aniseed, just on a whim. Your whim is the right answer. Yeah, you have two, making it difficult for Mark, but uh, you need this then, Mark. Which snack celebrated its 250th anniversary in 2012? Sandwich, hamburger, or sausage roll? I don't think it was the hamburger, um, <clears throat> although I could be wrong. Uh, sausage roll, that doesn't really jump out at me, so I'm going to plumb for the old sandwich. Yes, it is. Well done. Yeah, sandwich. And uh, which egghead will tell me the story of how it was invented? Oh, uh, the sandwich. Inveterate gambler. Wouldn't get up from the table to have his dinner. He said to his uh, footman, fetch me a slice of meat between two slices of bread. And that became known as a sandwich. And hence all these sandwich shops all over the place. Right. 250 years ago from 2012. All right. Well, you got that, Mark. Kept you in it. But Dave can knock you out if he gets this in 2008. Ellen Daroz replaced Angela Hartnett as chef in the restaurant of which hotel? The Connaught, the Dorchester or the Barclay? I haven't, I haven't heard of this at all. Don't follow. Uh, they're, not, they're not exactly places that I go and eat in. <laughs> um, I'll go with the Dorchester just for a guess. OK, the Dorchester. You've been getting all the hoity-toity questions, haven't you, with your mind? I have, and, you know, as I said, just for a lowbrow person like me. Yeah. You know, not good. It is the Connaught. <laughs> Connor. Of course, Mark's got his regular table there, he would have yeah. done that. Just <laughs> reserved, don't let anyone else sit there. All right, well, that's, this could be, could be a good revival if you get this, we're uh, into sudden death. So, Mark, what is the meaning of the Aztec word, socolatl, from which the English word chocolate derives? Is it sacred nectar, pepper plant, or bitter water? Socolatl is X-O-C-O-L-A-T-L. Okay, um... 
Well, I don't think it's bitter water. That really doesn't conjure up chocolate to me. Um, pepper plant. I mean, I've heard of using pepper with chocolate, but uh, it sounds like it could be sacred nectar, so I think I'll plump for sacred nectar. Okay, sacred nectar to make it all square. It's not. It is bitter water. Bitter water, I suppose. Yeah, you can have quite um, bitter chocolate, can't you? Look at that. Well, Dave's just managed it. Uh, I'll tell you what, if I go home to my wife and tell her that I've beaten somebody who's competed in MasterChef on food and drink, yes. she's not going to believe me in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so shocked. Is there a doctor in the house uh -huh. there to help me out? Not to help you, anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, confirm it then. Dave's in the final round, depriving Mark. Would you both please come back and join your teams? Exhibiting his fine tastes in food and drink. Oh, there. yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Proper gastronome, me. Yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> Means that uh, both teams now have lost one brain from the final round. It's all square. Uh, next head to head is arts and books. So, who'd like to play this? Do you know what's going on? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll yeah. have a go. Go on, son. And who would you like to pick from the air cage? You can't play Daphne or Dave. So, we go further down the line for Chris, Barry, or Pat. Pat? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for Pat. Yeah, Pat. Pat yeah. All right, let's have Dean and Pat into the question room, please. 